Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a question I see asked a lot. Which Linux distro is most like macOS? If you love the look and feel of macOS but want the flexibility of Linux, then this video is for you. Stick around as I walk you through five Linux distros that capture the essence of macOS in their own unique ways. First up, we have ParOS. If you want a pixel-for-pixel -pixel clone of macOS, this is as close as it gets. ParOS is built on Arch Linux and uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment, which means it's highly customizable. But out of the box, you're greeted with an interface that's nearly identical to macOS. From the frosted glass look to the three-button window design, everything feels like you're using a Mac. There's even a Finder file explorer and a Mac-like menu bar. However, there are some trade-offs. ParOS is developed by a single developer, so you might run into bugs or issues during installation. And unlike macOS, there's no built-in spotlight search, but you can add a third-party app for that. Still, if you're looking for an almost authentic macOS experience on Linux, ParOS is your best bet. Next on the list is Elementary OS. It's a bit more than just a macOS clone. It's become a capable operating system in its own right over the last decade. Elementary OS features the Pantheon desktop environment, designed to be simple and elegant. The interface is clean, the dock doubles as a taskbar, and the default Epiphany browser gives off major Safari vibes. I especially love the gesture support, which makes it a great choice for MacBook users switching to Linux. However, customization is limited compared to other Linux distros, and there's no spotlight search equivalent, but it's lightweight, beginner-friendly, and comes pretty close to replicating the Mac OS aesthetic without feeling like a direct copy. If you're looking for the most beautiful Linux distro, Deepin should be on your radar. Based on Debian, Deepin nails the macOS aesthetic with its frosted glass look, sleek animations, and a well-designed interface. There's a launchpad, control center, and even a grand search feature that functions like macOS's spotlight. Deepin also comes with its own suite of custom apps that blend seamlessly with the overall design. However, it's not very customizable, and it's not exactly lightweight. So, if you're running an older machine, you might want to skip this one. But for a macOS-like experience that's visually stunning right out of the box, Deepin is hard to beat. Moving on to Cutefish OS. This one is still in beta, but it's already turning heads with its macOS-inspired design. While it doesn't clone Apple's entire look and feel, it's heavily influenced by it. The global menu bar, neat dock, and launchpad all remind you of macOS, and the whole experience feels smooth and polished. Cutefish OS is based on Debian, but there are Ubuntu and Manjaro variants as well. Just keep in mind that it's still in active development, so you might run into both hardware and software issues. It's definitely more eye candy than a daily driver at this stage, but it's one to keep an eye on as it matures. Last but not least, we have Ubuntu Budgie. This distro replaces the default GNOME desktop environment with Budgie, which aims to be simple and user-friendly for those coming from macOS. It even has a built-in Cupertino theme that adds a macOS-like dock, global menu, and window buttons. It's lightweight, stable, and based on Ubuntu, so you get the solid performance and support that comes with it. You can also use configurable hot corners to perform quick actions, just like on macOS. It's a great choice if you want a stable macOS-inspired desktop environment with the reliability of Ubuntu. So there you have it. Five Linux distros that bring a touch of macOS to the open source world. Whether you're a longtime Mac user looking to switch or just love the macOS aesthetic, there's something here for everyone. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Linux content. Let me know in the comments which distro you're most excited to try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.